me great pleasure to introduce uh, my good friend, Skip uh, say the wow walking into this gym and I say that for a lot of reasons I say wow when I look around and see all the familiar faces all the people that had a hand in making this possible uh, I say wow when I see Terry Holland when I see Ruff, Coach McNeil when I see Walter Williams so many people uh, that had a huge impact on my life while I was here I say wow walking in to see this gym and this facility to see that it's all uh, become a reality but one of the reasons that I wanted to be here and why I think this is so important to me is because of so many things that I have learned, not just from Drew, but from so many special needs people that have been involved in my life. When I was young, when I was in college, I had an opportunity to work the World Special Olympics. And one of my roles was a hugger. And I had the opportunity to stand at the end of the 100 yard dash and be a hugger. And when you first give your time, it's like, all right, how long am I going to be here? I got other things I got to get done. I got to study for this or do that. Probably the most rewarding two hours I've ever spent in my life. And Mike stands up and talks a little bit about that golf tournament that day to play nine holes with Drew Steele. I had just got here. It was rainy. <clears throat> it was cold. I hadn't played golf in a while. I really was, was kind of a burden because I had so many things I had to do and put a staff together, get recruiting organized, etc. I got out there on the first tee and I hit my ball and I stood back and Drew gets up and takes about 27 whacks at the ball, <laughs> pretty much destroys the tee box area that he hit from because he's digging a trench up there. He finally dribbles the ball off the edge of the tee box and he gets up and runs all the way around the tee box slapping everybody a high five. <laughs> We would go to the green and the ball would be that far away and we'd go, Drew, you put it in. And he put it off the green into the green and he turned his putter over like a pony and he ran it. He ran it all around the green. And I sat there and I said, you know, how can somebody that's been blessed with so much, somebody that's been given so many gifts as I have, as so many in this room have, the, the ability to communicate and to to talk and smell and feel and walk and all the things that we, all the gifts that we've been given, how can we walk around and complain about so many things we have going on in our life? And here I run into a young man named Drew Steele who had an impact on me and why I wanted him to talk to our team was because of his positive attitude, because of how grateful he was for the gifts that he does have. And if anybody had a reason to complain that day or say this is unfair and this is not right, it was Drew. He, he touched my heart. He touched my heart and we wanted to do something for him. Just as I come back today, so many people here who have touched my heart and touched my life. Greenville's a special place. Not just because of this wonderful building and all the buildings that are here. It's a wonderful place because of the people that are in this room. The way this community came together, the way everybody came together to make this possible. So many people, we talk about the way the media came together. People that compete on a daily basis and the way they came together to put packages together to help sell this and promote this event. The way the restaurant people with Bob Simon in the back, the way the restaurant people came together to just make an unbelievable evening that night. So we had one of the goals that we wanted was to have a car on every hole and to see all the way the car dealers came together, not about, well, my car has to be on the first hole or my signage has to be out front, but everybody just came together to make it work. And that's what made it so special. And I think back to the memories I have of Drew Steele and this community and building this uh, relationship, having the, the convention center filled with 1,500 people and bands playing and restaurants and everybody eating and having a good time. And, uh, the memories of building this whole thing are what I take with me. But I have been very blessed. I've lived in a lot of different places. But Greenville will always be considered home to me because of the people that are here. And I texted Drew, uh, Mike, when I landed last night. I said, you know what, honey, I'm home. And then you come back, come back into this community and to see so many people, uh, this is truly a special place. Don't take for granted where you live. Don't take for granted the relationships you have. And never let the opportunity pass to let people know how much you appreciate them and the difference they've made in your life. And look around at so many of the different faces that have touched me and Jennifer and Trey, Chad and Haley and made us who we were because of living in this community. 
But how many people in this community came together to make this event, which is what really touches my heart, which is the biggest wow that I stand here at the podium with. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to benefit from this building. The special needs population with the workout gym, with this, with so many things that were done. One of the things that we did early in the, in the campaign efforts was trying to make all the parks wheelchair accessible, uh, trying to do some of those different things. A lot of people are going to benefit from the monies that were raised and the people that got involved in this. Um, but from, the, from a standpoint of who's the winner, it's much like me at Special Olympics. I feel like I'm the winner to have had the opportunity to be with so many people that are here and to see this come back. Thank you. It's great to be back. Thank you.